the head coach, Kurt Anolfo, following the Galaxy's 1-0 uh. defeat to Portland Timbers. Following Kurt's presser, we should have the answers to the uh, pool reporter question from the referees. We'll jump straight into questions for Kurt. Adam? I haven't seen the plays. I haven't been able to see the replays, but I, I was told that um, the players uh, dove. Um, so that's unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> but he did get a yellow card for dissent. We can prevent that. Um, so we, we dug ourselves a hole, regardless of if the referee, uh, you know, made a bad judgment or not. We, we can't put ourselves in that situation. We're at home. We need points. Um, and, you know, I don't know what minute it was, a 30-second minute where, you know, we're playing with 10 men. Scott? What, uh, how, how should you guys have defended that counterattack? What, what did you guys what did you <coughs> So it's, it was a corner kick, attacking corner, and you, you just have to break up the play. You have, you know, players on top of the D that have to break up the play, and um, then you got to run hard back. And you know it was a it was a bad goal to concede in the, early in the game. Kevin. Yeah. Um, first of all, Gio has got either a slight strain uh, to his hamstring or. Um, just tightness. We'll, we'll know more tomorrow, but uh, he couldn't go in the second half, so we had to make that change. Um, just like I told the team when we got in the locker room, uh, the effort um, and the way that they worked, they were, they were warriors. Uh, I thought Seba, uh, Sebastian Legette led, led by example. I thought he was uh, excellent. I thought he was the best player on the field in every aspect. Um, you know, a play that um, draws a lot of attention to me was when he had to run back basically almost the entire field to, to help make sure we didn't concede that second goal to keep us in the game. And that's what happens when you grind it out and you, you do all these things that you got to do. Winning games is hard work. You position yourself to make a play. And, you know, we had some set pieces that we got to capitalize on. And then, you know, Jose has the, the header. And and maybe you walk away with a point, and and you you know you're you're feeling a little bit better. But I, I'm very pleased and proud of the effort uh, the guys put in, and that's that's what I'm going to focus on. Go ahead. He he just answered that. He it, just answered. I, I don't know. You have to get an assessment from from our medical staff, and we'll know more tomorrow. Nick? Considering the experience of the two guys who were forced to leave the field and the age of the players and the experience level that you brought on, this must have been your worst nightmare at the start of the season with, with such a young, thin squad. <coughs> and there you are, 0-2 oh for the first time since 2001 all of a sudden. Well, you, you're, uh, you're always going to deal with adversity I I through the course of the season. You, you don't want to draw it up where it's this early. Um, I actually look at it differently. Um, we will be better for this. We got some some players, some minutes, uh, and they perform well. Um, that helps create depth to our team. We're, we're, we were down five players today, um, and you know that's that's never easy. So you know, as we add the players back from injury and suspension. Um, and then you, you look at performances like you know Sebastian had, and then Ema uh, was very good again today and had an excellent week of training. Um, all of a sudden, you know you um, you have you have options, and, and it makes you better. So uh, it, it's unfortunate, you know. I'm a forward-looking person. I don't look back. Um, my job is to continue to make the group better, and that's that's my focus, and we will. Larry. Uh, 
I thought he I thought he did well. Um, you know, the, these work visa issues are, are difficult because it, it takes you away from your team for a long period of time. And um, you know, he he just got back last week, and so he had four or five days of training. And you could see that um, maybe he lacked a little bit of sharpness on a couple of passes, but his defending was excellent. Um, and he'll only get better. Last two, Damien, and then Kevin. <laughs> the, he uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve, as you could see. He put everything into the game. He's a warrior, and, and that's when we're talking about Rafa Garcia. And then it's the same thing with Diop. I mean, he's um, an exciting young goalkeeper who um, is only going to get better. Um, I thought he had a good game. His, his passing game was good with his feet, and um, you know he's he's a he's a guy that can make saves and. Uh, I thought he had a good good performance. Kevin? I was going to say the same thing. I thought he had a good performance. But why did you – can you talk about the choice to keep him on the road? So, you know, we're, we're dealing with a lot of adversity right now, which means we're, we're um, you know, we have, we're testing our depth and we're making our depth better. And I want competition in positions, and I felt like it was a good opportunity to give Diop the game. Um, he, he's going to play for us. He's going to play games this year, and um, you know, if you just look at the track record, there's there's often injuries to goalkeepers, and you need um, them to have minutes. And I'm confident in him. And I, you know, it's 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 harder when you're going on the road. It's you know better to give a game like that to um, a young goalkeeper at home, and um, he'll create competition in that position. Brian's okay. Yeah, Brian's fine. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kurt. Thanks. If you guys want to hold on one second, I can read this uh, pool reporter, or we can just distribute it, whichever is easier. Uh, read it aloud. Yeah. Uh, the first question is, why was each of the yellow cards given to Van Dam? Uh, the answer was, the first caution was given for dissent. The second caution was stopping a promising attack. Uh, attempting to trip is in parenthetics. Uh, the second question is, did Van Dam make contact with Chara on the play leading to the first yellow card and or with Guzman on the play leading to the second yellow card? Van Dam was given a caution for dissent. Uh, on the second caution, Van Dam attempted to trip Guzman, which stopped a promising attack. Guzman avoided the contact and fell awkwardly. <laughs>